Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, we are going to be looking at what radio buttons are and how to use radio buttons. We are going to be making a simple form color changer again, um, but this time with radio buttons inst instead of normal buttons. So let's go ahead and add some radio buttons to the form. I'll be adding... Um, think one more okay then let's start by changing the font size of them let's go to the um, object inspector text settings and font and give them a font of let's say uh, 18 okay maybe 20 okay let's first go and see how radio buttons behave by default so let's compile the application by pressing F9 or going to the green arrows here at the top okay so a radio button basically is something you can check when you click on it let's, so let's click on this radio button when we click on it then it becomes checked and when we click on a different radio button then it becomes unchecked the, the previous one so let's click on this one and as you can see as we click on one radio button the other one becomes unchecked and the one we click on becomes checked so that's basically the default behavior for a radio button okay, so let's start coding them now okay, let's start by giving them uh, text let's make this one blue This one can be red, and this one can be black. Actually, let's make it um, green. So it's RGB. Nice. Okay. And let's also go to the form. Let's change the form's fill and the uh, kind. The kind must be solid. Okay, so instead of using the on click event, we are going to be giving them uh, on mouse move events. Basically, every time when a mouse moves over the radio button, then the event or the procedure will be called and triggered. So let's double click here on the on mouse move, or you can just type in a name for it. For instance, um, you can type in whatever you want. I'm just going to say um, P blue, okay? Actually, FRM blue. Yeah, why not? Okay. So the procedure's name is now FRM blue. And here we're simply going to say FRM home dot full dot color colon equals T alpha colors dot blue. Okay, so the form's name is FRM home, and that's why we say. We call it as FRM home, and then of course we select the fill and the color property here. Okay, so let's compile and see what happens. So when we move over the blue radio button, it should now make the color blue. So let's do it. So it turned blue, but it did not check the radio button as you can see. It wasn't checked. Before we handle the checked problem, let's first continue and write the colors for the other buttons. Let's go to this radio button. We're going to say here FRM red. Here we're going to be saying FRM home dot fill dot color colon equals T alpha colors dot red. And for the black or the green button, we are going to be saying FRM green and same goes here FRM home dot fill dot color colon equals T alpha colors dot green okay let's just check how it looks so compile okay so now it changes the color when we hover over it with the mouse or move with the mouse over it but it doesn't become checked, so you have to click on it to make it go checked, as you can see. So let's do the check now. So that's quite easy. 
So when we hover over the blue button, the blue radio button, we'll just simply say, we'll, we'll select the radio button. So this radio button is radio, is radio button 1. As you can see here, radio button 1. So you're going to be saying radio button 1. You can also change change the, the name of the you can also change the name of the radio button. I'm just going to be leaving mine as radio as radio button one now. You can change yours to um or the BTN blue or whatever you want to. Okay, so we just, so we just simply say radio button one dot is checked, and we say colon equals true, and this will then um, basically check the radio button. So let's go to the green one. This is green. We're gonna say radio which radio which radio button is that green is radio button three so we say radio button three dot is checked colon equals true and same goes for red so red is obviously radio button two dot is checked colon equals true let's compile That should now work. Let's check it out. Okay, nice. That works. So let's recap a bit more on the previous video quickly. Let's just simply go here and add a panel. We're going to be aligning the panel to top and then insert a label into the panel. Then we say we're going to be aligning the label to client and go down to the text settings and we choose um, this horizon align to center we change the font to 20 size and bold and then we write some extra codes this is so this is label one let's change the name of the label to lbl color okay going to be making a very simple color picker just quickly quickly basically we're going to be saying dot uh, dot text colon equals so now we can go ahead and we can actually input the text color yes so now we can actually go and say t alpha colors to blue that will display blue this that it will display that for us that's not a very nice way to do it so we're going to be looking at my color picker now. So this is kind of my way of advertising, but yes, I will show you guys now. Okay, so, so, so it will show that. Basically, I have published an app on the Windows Store. You can go onto the Windows Store. You can search here for color picker. Or you can search for Rosalt color picker because the program's name is Rosalt color picker. Let's actually search for that. Rosalt color picker, here it is. My internet, my internet is just a bit slow. See here my app is, then you can download the app. And let's launch it. And then here you'll see this is basically the color picker. Let's get the color code for blue. Blue. This is the color code for blue. Let's copy this. And instead of actually saying T alpha colors to blue, we can simply replace it with this. So this is called a hex. Um, hex color code and you can you can either choose hex rgb or um the standard color name the alpha colors dot color name so let's add this now and let's just run it as you'll see the blue will work with this color code as you can see it worked so let's go ahead i'm just going to copy and paste now here to speed up this video let's get the color code for green quickly Green, let's copy green. So this is the one for green. I think in most of my videos I will be using either the X color codes or this color names. Let's get it for green. Ah, oh, for red, I mean red. Okay, let's compile. And boom, our basic color, color picker or color form changer works with radio buttons. So yes, guys.
that's basically it for this video um before we move on you guys can go and download my app here app here who's out color picker i also have a different app um called delphi programming helper so you can also go and download this app if you want to and here on this app you'll find plenty of other cool um, things to help you learn delphi i'm gonna launch the app quickly and yes, I didn't have tutorials, code examples, and many other things. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If this video helped you in any way, then leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you want to follow me on my social media, you can find my social media links here on, here on the left side of the screen. And you can go and follow me there on my social media accounts. And then once again, you can download my Delphi programming helper and my Rosalt color picker on the Windows Store. And, and it will help you to learn Delphi and just help you in your programming journey through this video series. So once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.